Hey y'all, Steph here from Southern Sky TN Garden DIY. And I'm just out here in the garden. It's gonna start probably raining in about an hour. Well, I hope it will start raining in about an hour because just love to get some seeds and some transplants in before the rain starts. Always a great thing. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna show you that I've been adding some of our lettuce cuts. These are the romaine, whoops, it's, can I get it into frame here? These are some lettuce cuts that we had from romaine that we bought from the grocery store. And as much as I do plant from seed and have stuff going, we take these cuts, we'll place them under a grow light and they start growing again and produce beautiful heads of romaine lettuce. So it's a two for one deal, it's a two for one. <laughs> so I already put some out in the main garden because I usually don't do that, but I decided this time that I would just try and see how it goes. There's some lettuce growing already under the cover there, so I just plucked a couple of these out and put them in there. And now I am going to add them into these tubs right here and we'll see how it goes. We should get beautiful heads of romaine. So I just took my shovel and I just shaved off a little bit of that brown. And the roots actually start forming from the area right around the edge that is brown. And it's interesting, like some of them, you'll see roots just coming out of those. I wonder if it's like this one. No, but if we leave them in the water long enough, the roots will start forming around the circular edge. But anyway, I don't know. I just do what I do. I feel like I'm giving it like a fresh, you know, like when you're cutting roses and you give that fresh cut. <laughs> so I feel like that's what I'm doing. Anyway. And I've also got in this same little container right here, and it was one of these um, six, or actually it was like a three, a three by two fabric container that we got from Walmart on sale one time. So we took them and put them in here. They fit perfectly, but I just kind of hit in this one. I also have some magnolia seeds I threw down and um, there's a few little roots floating around in here from some lettuce starts that didn't happen. I just threw the excess soil in here because why not? But anyway, so we'll see if I get some lettuce and some magnolias. And the little white specks you see are from some eggs and from some, and from some food scraps I threw in there. And then also this little... Uh, little plastic container in here is actually something my husband started doing and it's a potato in there with some dirt oops with some dirt and if i flip it open here you'll see that there's lots of little worms that started forming and growing in there so we're just letting that happen and we'll see what happens trying to grow some earthworms so okay y'all there you go sorry this video was not of the highest quality but i just wanted to put something out there for you and show you what is happening here at southern sky tn garden diy and again i'm in zone 7b middle tennessee a backyard gardener that's trying to make the most of every space except for our main lawn because our Golden Doodle Cash loves enjoying the green lush lawn and he's right over there actually with daddy playing right now and so we try to leave some lawn happening but where we had bushes and other greenery growing that wasn't really like doing any much but just growing bushes we tore them out and started our potting beds so there you go and there you go it's daddy and cash yeah it's having so much fun all right y'all till the next time and i'll probably film again after we get some rain and i'm trying to put some stuff in before the rain starts so keep growing y'all keep growing